Palawan and its history. Philippines best island. Philippines last frontier that Spaniards. Land of promise. Location in the Philippines. Location in the Philippines coordinates 10 degrees 00, 118 degrees 50 E coordinates 10 degrees 00, 118 degrees 50 E country Philippines. Palawan, pronounced, officially the province of Palawan, Kuyonan, Probinsya Iang Palawan, Paragua, Tagalog, Lalawiganing Palawan, Hiligaynon, Kapuoran Sang Palawan, Cebuano, Lalawigan S.A. Palawan, is an archipelagic province of the Philippines that is located in the region of Mimaropa. It is the largest province in the country in terms of total area of jurisdiction. Its capital is the city of Puerto Princesa, but the city is governed independently from the province as a highly urbanized city. The islands of Palawan stretch between Mindoro in the northeast and Borneo in the southwest. It lies between the South China Sea and the Sulu Sea. The province is named after its largest island, Palawan Island 09 degree 30, 118 degrees 30 e, measuring 450 km 280 miles long, and 50 km 31 miles wide. In 2019 Republic Act 11259 was passed providing for the division of Palawan into three separate provinces. Per the law, a plebiscite will be held in Palawan in May 2020 determining whether this division will be carried out. History and Prehistory The early history of Palawan was determined by a team of researchers led by Dr. Robert B. Fox. They found evidence in the Taban Caves that humans have lived in Palawan for more than 50,000 years. They also found human bone fragments, from an individual known as Taban Man, in the municipality of Kazan, as well as tools and other artifacts. Two articulated phalanx bones of a tiger, besides another phalanx piece, were found amidst an assemblage of other animal bones and stone tools in Eel Cave near the village of Nuabaje. The other animal fossils were ascribed to macaques, deer, bearded pigs, small mammals, lizards, snakes and turtles. From the stone tools, besides the evidence for cuts on the bones, and the use of fire, it would appear that early humans had accumulated the bones. Additionally, the condition of the tiger subfossils, dated to approximately 12,000 to 9,000 years ago, differed from other fossils in the assemblage, dated to the Upper Paleolithic. The tiger subfossils showed longitudinal fracture of the cortical bone due to weathering, which suggests that they had post-mortem been exposed to light and air. Tiger parts were commonly used as amulets in South and Southeast Asia, so it may be that the tiger parts were imported from elsewhere, as is the case with tiger canine teeth, which were found in Ambangan sites dating to the 10th to 12th centuries in Butuan, Mindanao. On the other hand, the proximity of Borneo and Palawan also makes it likely that the tiger had colonized Palawan from Borneo before the early Holocene. Using the work of von den Driesch, all chosen anatomical features of appendicular elements anatomical features which were chosen, besides molars, were measured to distinguish between taxa that had close relationships, and see morphometric changes over ages, though not for pigs or deer. For the latter two, cranial and mandibular elements, besides teeth of deer from Eel Cave were compared with samples of the Philippine brown deer, Cervus marianus, Calamian hog deer, Axis calamianensis, and Visayan spotted deer, Cervus alfredi, and thus two taxa of deer have been identified from the fossils, Axis and Cervus. 17 remains of pigs were compared with the Eurasian, Sus scrofa, and Palawanese wild boar, Sus ahoinobarbus. It is known that the Eurasian wild boar was imported as a domesticate to the islands from mainland Southeast Asia to the islands during the terminal Holocene. Pre-colonial period. Palawan is home to several indigenous groups. The oldest inhabitants are the Palawan, Batak, Tagbanwa, and Taut Bato who are from the interiors and highlands of Palawan, as well as the Calamianes Islands. They traditionally practice animist Anito religions. Palawan's coastlines were also settled by later groups that are now collectively known as Palawenos. These groups are the Islamized Molbog people of southern Palawan, possibly originally from Sabah, and the Visayan Kuyonan and Agutainan groups from the nearby islands of Cuyo and Agutaya. Palawan was mentioned as Pulawan or Polawan by Antonio Pigafetta in 1521 during Magellan's expedition. They called it La Terra de Misione, the land of promise, due to the fact that they were almost starving by the time they reached the island. The local Datu made peace with the expedition through a blood compact. 
The ship's crews were welcomed to the island with rice cooked in bamboo tubes, rice wine, bananas, pigs, goats, chickens, coconuts, sugarcane, and other supplies. Pigafetta described the inhabitants as being farmers. Their primary weapons were blowguns with iron tips that could both shoot thick wooden or bamboo darts, some poisoned, and function as spears once their ammunition were exhausted. Pigafetta also described the islanders as keeping roosters for cockfighting. Spanish period. Taytay, -tay, the capital of province of Calamianes in 1818, Spanish Palawan. The northern Calamianes Islands were the first to come under Spanish authority, and were later declared a province separate from the Palawan mainland. In the early 17th century, Spanish friars sent out missions in Cuyo, Argutaya, Taytay and Cagayanchilo but they met resistance from Moro communities. Before the 18th century, Spain began to build churches enclosed by garrisons for protection against Moro raids in the towns of Cuyo, Taytay, Linapacan and Balabac. In 1749, the Sultanate of Brunei ceded southern Palawan to Spain. In 1818, the entire island of Palawan, or Paragua as it was called, was organized as a single province named Calamianes, with its capital in Taytay. Citation needed by 1858, the province was divided into two provinces, namely, Castilla, covering the northern section with Taytay as capital and Asturias in the southern mainland with Puerta Princesa as capital. It was later divided into three districts, Calamianes, Paragua and Balabac, with Principe Alfonso town as its capital. During the Spanish colonial period, Cuyo became the second capital of Palawan from 1873 to 1903. American rule. In 1902, after the Philippine-American War, the Americans established civil rule in northern Palawan, calling it the province of Paragua. In 1903, pursuant to Philippine Commission Act No. 1363, the province was reorganized to include the southern portions and renamed Palawan, and Puerta Princesa declared as its capital. Many reforms and projects were later introduced in the province. Construction of school buildings, promotion of agriculture, and bringing people closer to the government were among the priority plans during this era. Japanese invasion. U.S. Army personnel toiled to identify the charred remains of Americans captured at Bataan and burned alive on Palawan. The 20th of March 1945 after the Japanese invasion, according to Stephen L. Moore, pro-Allied sentiment was strong, and it was later estimated that during the war as many as 1,154 Filipino guerrillas worked against the Japanese on the island. Those in the underground network would proudly refer to themselves as Palawan's fighting 1,000. Early resistance leaders included Dr. Higinio Acosta Mendoza, his wife Trini, Thomas F. Loudon, and his son-in-law Nazario Mayer. Captain Mayer organized Company D in October 1943, and was responsible for the area encompassing Puerta Princesa south to Balabac Island. Captain Mendoza covered the area north of Puerta Princesa to Carame. Lieutenant Felipe Battle operated out of Danlig, while Captain Carlos Amoras operated out of Sibolton. Overall command of the Palawan Special Battalion was under Major Pablo P. Maiko as part of the 6th Military District. The Palawan guerrillas helped any escaping American POWs, supported two coastwatcher groups sending regular radio broadcasts to General MacArthur on Japanese movements, and helped rescue downed airmen as well as survivors from the USS Flyer submarine. Most importantly, they helped guide the 8th Army's troop landings. Palawan Massacre during World War II, in order to prevent the rescue of prisoners of war by the advancing Allies, on 14 December 1944, units of the Japanese 14th Area Army under the command of General Tomoyuki Yamashita herded the remaining 150 prisoners of war at Puerta Princesa into three covered trenches which were then set on fire using barrels of gasoline. Prisoners who tried to escape the flames were shot down. 27, only 11 men escaped the slaughter. Liberation. During the first phase of the Battle of Late Gulf, just off the coast of Palawan, two United States Navy submarines, USS Dace SS-247 and USS Data SS-227, attacked a Japanese cruiser task force led by Admiral Takeo Kurita, sinking his flagship, in which he survived, Otago, and her sister ship Maya. Data later ran aground that afternoon and was scuttled by USS Nautilus SS-168. The island was liberated from the Japanese Imperial Forces February 28 and April 22, 1945 during the invasion of Palawan. 
Contemporary period. In 2005, Palawan was briefly made politically part of Western Visayas or Region 6 through Executive Order 429 signed by then-President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo as a political move to control the province and a response to getting more loans from China on May 23, 2005. This decree was later deferred on August 18 within the same year reportedly due to the opposition of the province's Sangguniang Panlalawigan Provincial Council. 31. On July 21, 2007, its capital city, Puerto Princesa became a highly urbanized city. Proposed division. In April 2019, a bill dividing Palawan into three provinces was passed into law. The proposed three new provinces are Palawan del Norte, Palawan Oriental, and Palawan del Sur. A plebiscite will be held in May 2020 to decide on whether Palawan will be divided into three provinces or not. Some civil society groups and Puerta Princesa residents opposed the proposed division, claiming that there was no extensive public consultation. Thank you for watching. Please hit that notification bell for my next video about Palawan geography, climate, and culture.